episode of My Car Story, and I'm here at the Muscle Car and Corvette National in Rosemont, Illinois, one of the greatest muscle car shows in the entire country. So come on out and make sure you catch one of these events. It's the Pebble Beach of Muscle Car Shows. You'll enjoy it. I'm here with Tom. Tom, what's your last name? Wood. Tom Wood. And uh, thank you, Carol. And uh, Tom, stand next to me here. Tell me what you have here today. It's a 1964 GPO Post Coupe. Post Coupe, which means it's got the post between the two. Come on over, Tom. Yeah. And uh, how long have you had this car? Since 1999. So it's a member of the family. And uh, we've got the great one plates. Love that. And uh, let's, uh, so come on with me. So what, why the GTO? What, what made you say, let me get a first year GTO? When I was 10 years old, it was a Mustang for the big thing, but they didn't look like a GTO. <laughs> so he said, let's do it right. Huh? He said, well, no Mustangs for me. Let's, let's get the GTO. And of course, this is the very first, for all intents and purposes, known muscle car they had. We're going to pull back so we can see the full side of the car before people jump in. So the first year, I mean, it, was it just the big engine that said, okay, I gotta get one of these? I mean, it, it inspired you, what happened? No, the style of the car. Okay, and here's the post we were talking about, yeah. versus the hard top. And you said this is your second GTO. Yeah. What's, what's your first one? I have a 164, which is another post coupe, that's branded there red that I bought in 1973. And that was, uh, go ahead. Chicago car, so at that time, this car here being an Arizona car has the original floor pans. Oh, really? Yeah. And what's the color of this car? Cameo Ivory. Cameo Ivory. So you take this car to, uh, you drive this one? Yeah, whenever I take it to shows. And yeah, yeah. It looks great. Did you, did you restore this? I mean, the paint looks spotless. I mean, how long did the restore take us? It was basically yeah. built from scratch. Okay. Uh, I picked it up in Arizona yeah. in 99 as a body and a frame. Wow. So the parts came from all over the place. Let's open up the door for me here. We'll take a look at the interior. I'm gonna, while you're doing that, I'm going to take a look at this uh, sheet here. That's a copy of the build sheet from the PA. That's great. I'm flying my Raiders hat in the back deck because they won the other night. There you go. You thought I got Raiders colors here in this GTO. Yeah. And, uh, we got the bench seat, a lot of room in the back. So this is considered a smaller car. We've got the what do they call that? Milled metal or something? The swirl. Swirl. Swirl dash. Aluminum swirl dash. It looks great. Original. We got some aftermarket gauges, which is nice. And the nice GTO right in front of the handle to hold on to on the side of it. Just grab a hold of the, of the uh, window and hang on. Let's take a look under the hood. Why have you shut that door? And seeing I drive it, that's why the aftermarket cage is. Oh yeah, no problem. That looks great. So what do we have here? This is all original. Yes, for 89 tri-power. They say produce it for the owner for the horsepower. How accurate do you think is that? They say they always underdid them. Yeah. Single master cylinder there. Yes. No power brakes. <laughs> but I did throw on power steering because they 
cut the pulley ribs back and into the garage. Yeah, right, 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 right. But that's all correct stuff on there. And it looks spectacular. Tom, let's have you shut the hood and stand right next to your car. Hey, Tom, thanks for being on My Car Story. Okay, I've been over all. <laughs> yes, you have.